Hi everybody! Keep watching this video if you want to learn how to renumber your parking spaces very fast with detail line in Revit. I've just published a new tool to my free Revit extension called EF Tools. Check it out if you've never heard of it. There's gonna be a link somewhere on the top of the installation guide. So let's have a look how this specific tool works. There's something important you need to point out about this tool so it doesn't skip your parking spaces when numbering. But first, let's see how it works. Open a view where you can see your parking spaces and draw a detailed line with a spline, as you want your parking spaces to be numbered. I've prepared a few parking spaces, that, as you can see, that we're gonna renumber. Let's start with these ones. They all have question marks because now the parameter is empty. So I'm gonna draw my spline right here in a way that I wanna number my parking spaces. Once you have completed your line, go to EF Tools tab, look for Renumbering pull-down menu and click on Renumber Parkings with Spline tool. Then select your spline line that you have just drawn. Now we need to select our output parameter. At the moment it will only show you instance parameters that have text as data input and they are not read-only parameters. Now we need to give it some count start, I'm gonna leave it at 1. And then there are also optional parameters prefix and suffix. Let's add a dot to a prefix. And now once you click on renumber, it's gonna renumber all your parking spaces. Now let's try it once more with these parkings. I want my counting order to go that way. Then once I'm complete, same as before, go to EF Tools tab and find this tool in renumbering. Choose your parameter right here. This time I'm gonna start my count from 100 and add a prefix x dash. And now it's also renumbered. So finally, let's talk about the tricky part. I will clean this parameter for all parkings right here. For some reason, if you make your spline too straight, it might skip a few parking spaces. I tried to reduce steps in tessellation, but it didn't solve any issues. So I would recommend you make your spline more curly and then have a visual check if everything was renumbered. Thank you for watching this video. I want to shout out my patrons who support me on a monthly basis. You can become one of my patrons too. Link will be in the description of this video. My name is Eric Fritz and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.